Boom, YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, wherever you at. We back with another reaction video. We got Elon Musk sending a rocket to space. Let's get it. Best words you could possibly hear 20 seconds away from liftoff. He also just dropped a car. That ain't got no steering wheel. Some robots. I think a train or something like that. Crazy. T minus five, four, three, two, one. We have left on. Vehicles pitching downrange. Booster after chamber pressure nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, the rumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control. Booster and ship, that avionics is the power, telemetry nominal. Thirty-three Raptor engines. Max Q. Now pass through the maximum aerodynamic. Y'all see how fast that mile is going? <laughs> KM. I know KM's probably like half a miles per hour, but that's fast. Pressure, the most stress the vehicle's going to see on the way uphill. Our next, our next major milestone coming up, it's gonna be hot staging. We're gonna see the engines ignite on ship to push it away from the booster. All right, so hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. And then we're going to see the engines on ship ignite. Keep up with the speed. Uh, it looks like that mug at 15,000 miles per hour. Right now, the tower team is doing their go, no, go. And we might hear some really good words soon, too. All right. And still see it up behind me. That is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. Coming up on hot staging next. Engine There's startup. most engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster for Stage separation. Right. Hot stage confer separation confirmed. Ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six. Raptors lit. Hopefully I got a booster on the way back to me. I'm going to send it to you guys in Hawthorne. Oh, man. That was... <laughs> Is they using like Raptor car engines or what? And all this, this is crazy to me. I'm trying to figure out what he's sending these rockets to the sky for. It's absolutely incredible. I loved how the crowd- Ship Chamber pressure is nominal. The crowd here in Hawthorne all went, ooh, at that first <laughs> view of the blue flames from the booster. As you can see there, first stage currently 
currently performing, or excuse me, is uh, now making its way back to uh, the launch site. Again, we are. The ship avionics power and launch nominal. Uh, the booster and the tower are both performing automated checks to make sure we are go for the booster to return to the launch pad for that catch. And once those are complete, the flight director. And we did hear that the tower is go for catch. So that was one of the. The earth flat. Around y'all, leave a comment. Big criteria we're looking for. This view we'll here. wait to hear. Check out the speed on that thing. That the we'll wait to hear that the go for catch has been sent. Beautiful view here from the <laughs> ship. And so exciting to hear that we got a go for booster catch. That means it's going to be a really exciting morning. Again, the booster is making its way back towards uh, now land um, in order to make that catch attempt in the tower. <laughs> so incredible to see these views. You can see the ship on the right hand side of your screen. All six Raptor engines are uh, under full power. Once again, the, the ship, excuse me, the booster is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to try and catch it using the chopsticks on the launch tower, the exact same tower that it just launched from. It's got to be some type of Tesla and what they doing because they shot it in the air and they brought it back. Like. Y'all know how heavy that thing is? How you just... That's some GTA stuff, man. Some GTA, GTA life, man. I guess, man. Just, wow, oh, five no. minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the booster... Starship on nominal guys, I, I don't know if this the way we supposed to be going, man. I, I can confirm the command was sent for the booster to come back. That is incredible. So I'm looking <laughs> up right now. It's it's pretty much right over ahead of us, and we can see it starting to come down. I can't wait for us to hear the sonic boom through Dan's mic. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is going to be incredible. It was so cool to hear the lift off, uh, and so once again. Um, a successful on-time liftoff of Starship Flight 5. The ship uh, the, has separated from the booster. The booster is there on your screen. It is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to attempt the catch using the chopsticks. We did hear the confirmation that the command was sent to the tower. Uh, we are go for catch. And in order to... Hey guys, we should just be about 30 seconds away from the landing farm. Yeah, but he was crazy. Let's bask in that right quick. It might be flat, yeah. It might be flat. Been in three phases, we're gonna land 13 engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Coming in hot for booster catch. We're gonna ignite 13 of those Raptor engines and this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. Man, how much does that thing weigh? It's not moving 15,000 miles per hour. That's crazy. Landing burn. Has been ignited. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now.
kidding me? <laughs> Dan, wow. uh, how about you? But we're, we're losing our ear. Guys, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, even at this day and age, what we just saw, that looked like magic. that full video or whatever we back with another reaction video or we actually we gone with another reaction video shit that was crazy that was crazy elon musk sending rockets to space and shit bringing them back landing them perfectly <laughs> I don't know how much all this stuff weighs, but shit, he's doing it for sure. 